I am Gaming Crew, and in this Diablo 3 build guide, we're going to be taking a look at the Legacy of Dreams, codenamed Calvary, for the Crusader, available now in both Hardcore and Softcore on PlayStation 4 slash 5. So no matter which mode you play on, on PlayStation, we got you. And if you're looking for any of the gear shown in this video, all you need to do is join the Discord. It's absolutely free to join and it doesn't cost anything. You don't even have to be a subscriber to the YouTube channel to get access to this gear. It is absolutely free. So with that all aside, big special shout out to each member of the Discord community, my team, and each and every single one of my subscribers. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on into this build guide. So for our weapon right here, we're picking up the Ingeome dealing 2,400,000 damage very very nice indeed it has the uh gem of ease in there so you're gonna get 8,000 experience per kill on top of all of that cooldown for all skills is at 40.9 percent resource cost reduction 34.4 eight attacks per second and this is a level one primal ancient legendary sword very very cool for the gloves right here the first piece of the legacy of dream set it is the saint arcus gauge a lot of good affixes on there, the percent damage, the regular damage, cold, fire, strength, resist all. I mean, pretty much every single one of these is essential and uh, makes this build like just crazy. The damage output is insane. It has a bonus perk on there. The first time an elite pack damages you, gain an absorb shield equal to 150% of your maximum life for 10 seconds. Cooldown of all skills is at 27.1. Resource cost reduction is at 10 and we get a 15% damage to elite enemies. And everything is going to be set for level 1, Primal, Ancient, and uh, these are the Legendary Gloves. Very, very nice. Moving on to the shoulders. Uh, these are a set piece, but don't worry. Uh, you can use certain set pieces. You just can't have a set bonus for the Legacy of Dreams gem to be effective. So we're picking up the Thorns of the Invoker shoulders, codenamed Calverly. I need to add one affix on there, and that is going to be Thorns damage, so I'm probably going to take off the life per hit um, in version 2.0 and add uh, 40,000 Thorns damage instead, so that way we can really capitalize off of the Thorns. Now Thorns is just reflecting damage back after an enemy hits you, and honestly if you're one-shotting everything it really doesn't matter, but you know, I never put thorns damage on. Hey, what's up, bro? Thanks for tuning in, man. Uh, the cooldown and resource cost reduction and bonus damage to elite enemies is all going to stay the same on mostly all of the pieces of gear. Uh, variations may occur during like the helm, but we're not there yet, so we'll get there. Level one, primal, ancient, legendary shoulders. Sup. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, for the chest piece right here, we're picking up the Aquila Karas. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, this is the one that bugged out for the bonus on this one. So in version 2.0, it will have the bonus affix on there. Cooldown and resource cost reduction is set. the same. And uh, the 15% damage to the enemies is very, very nice as well. Moving on to the helm. It is socketed with the red soul shard. So you're going to get bonus damage to all crusader skills. Because it's normally 100%. So you're not going to get 200%. And you're also going to get 400% critical hit damage. Oh my goodness, that is such a crazy, crazy, crazy number. 900% damage is obviously insane as well. Um, ignores durability loss. All of these pieces will ignore durability loss, so you never have to worry about repairing them. The only thing that that doesn't apply to is the weapon, so you still will have to repair that. But, you know, the, it only costs like 260 gold, and we ain't broke, boys. We ain't broke around here. Uh, cooldown of all skills is at 40.9%. Resource cost reduction is at flat 10, and again, that 15% damage to the enemies. For the uh, rare amulet right here, this is actually the piece that has the Legacy of Dreams Can gem I in it. A shout out? It is the uh, second gem right there. 800% damage to all Crusader skills, man. Ooh-wee, baby, that's absolutely insane, man. Oh, what a number, right? Uh, 95,800 life per hit, which is crazy. 400% critical hit damage. I mean, the critical hit damage probably could be bumped down, toned down a little bit, you know, because it really caps at 900, so uh, that'll probably be fixed in version 2.0 as well. But you also get the Iron Maiden passive. That was to capitalize off of the Thorns damage, but like I said, uh, I forgot to add it. So don't, don't hate me yet, guys. This is still a very good build, man. It's just the version 1.0 needs a little bit more work, okay? So don't crucify me yet, I promise. It's good. Wait till you see the gameplay. 
A cooldown of all skills is at 61.2%. Resource cost reduction, 34.4%. Movement speed, 25%. It's a uh, practice, my man. Uh, a lot, a lot of practice. 30% damage to the enemies for the bracers. Moving on to these. These are the strong arm bracers right here. Pretty good. Uh, it just has a perk on there that buffs enemies hit by knockback. Suffer 30% increased damage for 6 seconds. So, like, if you have any skills that do knockback, I think Smite is one of those. So, a little bit of capitalization on there. All of the affixes above are pretty much the same. So, I'm really not going to show them. Uh, moving down, the resource cost reduction, cooldown, and percent damage to the enemies is all the same. And that is a level 1 Primal Ancient Legendary Bracers. For the shield, we're picking up the Lidless Wall. This is a pretty good shield. Uh, it doesn't have a bonus on there or anything like that. Um, cooldown of all skills is set for 27.1, which is the same. Same for resource cost reduction, same for percent damage to the enemies. For the first ring, this is the 1 billion one. physical skill damage ring. This is absolutely insane because uh, the 500% critical hit damage, now I, I already said that uh, it really doesn't matter past 900%, Dunner. so in version 2.0 I'm probably going to change that critical hit damage out for either regular damage or strength so we can really take this to the next level. I'm thinking like we could easily get to 5 trillion damage if we really really wanted to. So expect uh, a little bit of the changes for the ring in version 2.0. I like these initial 1.0s just to get feedback from you guys, you know. And I do test these very, very thoroughly. Like, I did 100 runs with this one on GR 150s, and it, it's pretty consistent. So, like, I think it's good enough to be released. There are just some minor, minor things that need to be changed. Uh, other than that, though, this is a very good 1.0 release. I think it's probably one of the better ones I've ever made for sure. Moving on to the boots now. Sorry, that second ring was the Immortal Ring, so you're never going to die while wearing this. The boots, Illusionary Boots, these just have it so you can move unhindered through enemies, which is pretty nice. All the affixes are the same, and same with the bonuses here too. That is a level 1 Primal Ancient Legendary Boots. For the pants, we're picking up the Hexing Pants of Mr. Yang. Pretty, pretty good, man. They're good for resource generation, which makes it so we never, ever have to run out of wrath like trust me you are gonna spam all your abilities and you're never gonna run out of wrath which is just it's great it is man just us too liquid and uh the belt of the trove right here this is actually a new piece well it's not new we just we just updated it right so every four seconds you're gonna call down bombardment on a random nearby enemy and we had that part before but the bombardment deals 500 percent increased damage now that is a piece uh, this this whole belt right here uh we coded it into the game we updated it so now it shows the correct bonus affix because before we didn't have that second hunter uh bombardment deals 500 percent increased damage affix on there so that's very very nice man we're going to start to do that to a lot of pieces of gear we did it with the crudest boots for the belief monk set and we're doing it with the witch doctor too so expect some updated gear and you guys can just know that when you get gear from us it is going to be up to date and it is going to be fire no matter what class you play. So moving on to the skills now. X ability is going to be the smite one. You can change this out for whichever one you want though. But I just I have fun with smite with the rune surge. You really can play around with it though. Trust me you can't go wrong on that slot. For the conviction skill tree. You're going to want to pick up bombardment. This is going to be uh, your main damage dealing attack. This is a mandatory this skill. You, you need to have this one. And I really need modded monk and demon hunter. Yeah, man, hit me up in the Discord, bro. I'm always happy to help another player out, man. So, for the rune on this one, you can switch it out, but I think Impactful Bombardment does a really, really good job. It just, uh, it makes it so, it just, uh, it's a single big damage explosion, which is great. So, check it out. Uh, you can play around with it a little bit, but I honestly think that is the way to go here. Uh, this skill for the square ability, you can change if you want, but I think Phalanx with the rune bodyguard is really, really good. Um, I don't know. I just have fun with it. For the triangle ability, this is going to be a mandatory skill. You're going to need to rock Accurate's Champion with the rune Hasteful, but you can switch the rune out. You just need Accurate's Champion. And I can't play right for now. the utility skill tree, you're going to need Condemn. This is, a, this is a mandatory one because this set has Condemn bonus damage, so uh, just put Condemn on with any rune. I think Unleashed is great because you can spam it over and over again. And finally, for that mobility skill in the utility skill tree, you're going to need to pick up Steed's Charge with the rune Endurance. 
Passive number one, Fervor. Passive number two, Finery. Passive number three, uh, we don't need that anymore. Yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. Let's take that out. Let's just, uh, shit. What should we put on, man? Oh, fuck, let's just put on Fervor. Oh, man, ah! Oh, whatever, put on anyone you want, honestly. Lord Commander, though, for the fourth one. Cube powers. You guys can play around with these, man, however you want. Uh, for this build, it's very, it's just really whatever you want. Belt of the Trove, we obviously don't need. That was before I got that second affix, but now that I have it, we don't need that on there anymore. Ring of Royal Grandeur, you don't need, so just, just, pl I just did this for a reason because Can this send me build, the Discord link? um, it's linked in the description of this video, my man. Uh, this build offers a lot of freedom for play. Like, you can really set it up however you want. That's why I love Legacy of Dreams. Uh, builds because really it doesn't matter man like the skills you choose trust me you're gonna have fun with it so touching on the paragon everything into vitality i say it in every one of my videos um you're probably tired of me hearing it. it say it it is uh everything into vitality for the offensive skill tree uh, i would say a uh, cooldown reduction and attack speed for the defensive skill tree you're gonna want a little bit into resist all and a little bit into life for the utility skill tree, a lot, it, uh, you're probably going to want to cap area damage and gold pickup radius just to try to get it to that 80 yard. And for the follower, we're rocking the new cosmic set for softcore and hardcore enchantress. That works very, very well with this build. And finally, with that all aside, let's get into some gameplay, man. This is where I get to show you guys how awesome this build is. This is probably one of my f most fun I don't know if that's the right wording. It is like the funnest uh, Crusader. I don't play Crusader all that much, but I have fun when I'm playing this build. Now, how you want to rock this build, there's a couple of different ways you can rock it. You can literally use your Phalanx avatars and your bombardment and just go in, you know, guns a-blazing, dealing massive, massive, massive amounts of damage. Or you can ride around on your horse and you can just constantly call down a bombardment onto your enemy now bombardment doesn't take you out of like your horse form so like you can stay in that horse form while you're calling down bombardment like it'll take you out for like a split second but you can just go right back in it and it's it's an amazing skill it does it does so much damage guys like i i don't even know the numbers i think it's like 20 it's like it's like in the negative so you know it's heavy hitting when you see the negative numbers start popping up uh, other than that though, you can use your okay, X ability, it. which is going to be Smite. That's going to stun enemies. Now remember the Bracers, they buff enemies getting stunned, right? So like, if you use your X ability and you stun enemies, then you're going to get 30% increased damage, which is always nice, man. Not like you need it though with 3 trillion damage, man. Like you really, really don't need it. Uh, clear speeds are going to be coming in right at like a minute to a minute and a half, man. They're pretty, pretty consistent. I've had some that hit two minutes, though. It really depends on the pylons you get and just the overall map roll. If you get a crappy map, you're probably looking at like two to two and a half minutes. If you get some good maps, you're looking at maybe, you know, a minute to a minute 45. I do test these a lot, Hello. so like I... Um, Obviously, all feedback is welcome. If you guys have any feedback on any of these sets, man, or you guys want to ask any questions, just hit me up in the Discord, man. That is the best way to get in touch with me. I'm active on there pretty much every single day of the week. I might now, I, I have to say, I haven't been doing as many drops as I used to because I'm just, I'm really trying to crank out these sets, man. There's so much more uh, work that needs to be done. I'm constantly improving them, so. If you guys aren't members of the Discord, man, now is the time to join, man. It's absolutely free. It's going to be linked in the description after this video becomes a VOD. Or you guys can just look at any of my previous videos. It will have it on there. And, uh, yeah, man, I'm looking forward to seeing you all there. And if you guys are new to the channel and you like what you see, man, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button, you know, as that really, really helps your boy out. And, you know, the more subscribers we get, the more people see these videos, and the more gamers just like you get helped out. So... With that, man, finally, thank you for watching. If you made it till the end, you're an absolute legend, man. Thank you all so much. If you're looking for any of the gear shown in this video, again, man, hit us up on Discord. We got hella people on there, active every single day, helping one another out. It's a great community and a great place to be. So, yeah, man, hope to catch you all in a future video coming out soon. Stay safe, stay happy, stay gaming.